It's that time of year again here in Spain. Uh, things are really warming up. It's around 35 to 40 degrees most afternoons. And subsequently, they start bringing me computers that uh, are failing under the, under the heat. So this is uh, an HP G7, uh, which is throwing up the message that the, the fan's not working. And then after a few seconds, it just switches itself off. So we need to get into the guts of the thing and uh, take a look-see. Now you would have thought, as they'd gone to all the trouble of putting this panel on the bottom, which gives you access to the hard drive and memory and things, that they could have added a little panel or extended it to cover the fan. But no, we have to take the entire thing apart. With the back panel removed, we can now move on to removing the hard drive followed by the DVD drive. Next, remove the Wi-Fi board, followed by the screws that hold the keyboard in, which are signalled by a little keyboard symbol, followed by all the remaining screws in the base. Next, flip the laptop over and remove the keyboard, uh, remembering that there's a ribbon cable underneath it, so take care. And just look at all that dust. Disgusting. Remove the ribbon cables and the power connector to the motherboard. Finally, we can unclip the lid itself and remove it to expose the motherboard. Clearly, the fan does not spin freely, so now we have to actually remove the entire motherboard uh, so that we can get to the fan. As before, there are a number of ribbon cables to be disconnected. And one single screw which fixes the motherboard. Now we may carefully lift out the motherboard uh, by lifting it up and uh, pulling it out to the right. To enable us to inspect the fan, uh, to dismantle it and clean it, now we have to remove the heatsink uh, uh, from the processor and from the graphics chip. There are metal clips which hold the fan housing together. I have to gently prise those apart. Now we can see that the exit of the uh, fan air is in fact all blocked with, uh, with dust and who knows what. Now we can investigate why the fan blades do not spin freely, uh, simply lifting the blades off uh, the most likely thing is that the oil that was originally put on there has dried out and, and got sticky. So we need to clean that off with some IPA and uh, apply a little oil to it. Now we can clean the old thermal paste off of both the uh, heatsink and the processor and graphics chip. We do this with uh, IPA again. Um, aided with uh, cotton buds and uh, I find an old credit card is useful just for scraping the gunk off. Time to apply the new thermal paste. I like to use this diamond uh, paste. find it very useful, very good. And you only need to apply just a small bead on the chips before you apply the heatsink. It will spread itself out as the device heats up and also with the pressure of the heatsink. Finally, as it famously says in all Haynes workshop manuals, assembly is simply the reverse of disassembly. Enjoy!